Some exciting stuff, Justin. Thanks. We'll be sure to check back. Well, Wall Street ignored the chaos going on in Washington, and weekly job loss claims are out today. Yeah, Jen King live in New York this morning with the Thursday Morning Business Report. Hi, good morning to you, Ted Margaret. And yes, uh, new jobless claims likely broke back above 800,000 last week. Now, the labor market did have that dip the week before, but we have seen some more job losses since then. And uh, there's, of course, uh, the labor market uh, continuing to have trouble getting traction. Now, there are also some analysts that think that the drop that we saw the previous week had to do with the holidays as well. Maybe people just weren't filing for those claims as much as normal. Well, the feds have reportedly paid about two thirds of the money set aside for the second round of coronavirus stimulus checks in just one week. The Treasury Department had distributed more than $112 billion worth of the $600 payment since they started going out last week. And stocks set new records yesterday, even while the U.S. Capitol was being stormed. Banks rallied on expectations of bigger stimulus with more Democrats in Washington in favor of bigger stimulus. The banks make a lot of fees on those PPP loans and other things. They made billions uh, back in April. Tech stocks were down on worries about increased regulations. Now, stocks today are quiet but higher. In fact, global stock markets are up. So reporting like 50-point gain in the Dow at the moment. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Yeah, a lot of folks kind of... Uh Interested to see that how the Dow continued to rise, even though the chaos was going on in the Capitol. I guess investors <laughs> still being hopeful. It was surreal to watch it, like on two screens at the same time, and seeing mm -hmm. the Dow doing what it was doing and seeing what was going on at the Capitol building. It was kind of strange, but I don't think investors think there's a long-term yeah. um, impact to the economy because of it. So that's ultimately why we were higher. Yeah, quite the contrast for sure. Jane, we'll be sure to check back tomorrow morning. Thanks so much. Okay.